vectors and how to add them. So our goals for this session are the following. We'll talk about one way to add vectors, the geometric method, kind of a pictorial method. We'll learn how to find vector components, and then we'll look at another way we add vectors using components. So first of all, you might want to pause the video here so you can answer the question yourself. What is a vector? Can you give some examples of vectors? What's a scalar? Can you give some examples of scalars? So a vector is something that has both a magnitude, of course with units, and a direction. Some examples are the following, displacement, velocity, acceleration, force. A scalar, on the other hand, doesn't have any direction. So it only has a magnitude, and again, of course, has some units. So some examples, distance, speed, mass, temperature. Note that velocity here is in the vector category, while speed is in the scalar category. We're very careful in physics to separate those two terms. So an example of velocity is 50 kilometers per hour north, whereas speed is just 50 kilometers per hour, no direction. Okay, so let's consider the following vectors. We've got three vectors here, but let's say we want to take two of them and add them together. How do we find the sum of the vectors a and b? Okay, so this will be our method. We'll use the tip, tail, sorry, tail to tip method. So we'll move the tail of one vector to the tip of the other vector. The tip is where the arrowhead is. And we're going to do it for two vectors, but you can extend this to any number of vectors you want. The resultant vector, which is the sum, is drawn from the tail of the very first vector to the tip of the last vector. Okay, so we'll do this twice for A and B. So first focus on the triangle at the bottom left. And what we did is we slid B down so that the tail of B is placed on the tip of A. And then we get this resultant vector. That's this yellow vector off to the left. We draw it from the tail of A to the tip of B. Okay, and let's mention that. So there we go, that's what we did. Now we could have done this in the other order. Okay, so we could have slid A up to the very top so that its tail is on the tip of B. And then we're doing B plus A. So the resultant vector in that case is shown at the right. What you notice there is the vectors can be added in any order. You get the same result. The resultant vector here is two units in the y direction. Okay, so that's the basics of adding vectors. Again, you can generalize that for any number of vectors. Okay, what about vector components? So we're going to use the geometry right angle triangles and sines and cosines to help us. So here we have a picture. And first we have a vector v that points down and to the right. And then we'll impose a coordinate system on this. We'll have positive x to the right, positive y up. And we want to know how much of v is in the x direction. We'll call that vx. How much of v is in the y direction. We'll call that vy. OK, so all we did is we drew kind of a right angle triangle with the two sides parallel to the coordinate axes. We're going to use geometry and trig, sines and cosines, to find the magnitude of each component. And we're going to let our picture tell us the signs. So vx here is going to be positive. It's in the positive x direction. vy is negative because it's in the negative y direction. OK, we'll also use what we call unit vector notation. And a unit vector is a length of one unit. So x hat, x is a little thing that looks like a hat on top, has a length of one unit in the x direction. y hat has a length of one unit in the y direction. OK, so to find vx, we can use our equation cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's for a right angle triangle. In this case, the adjacent is vx, and we're just doing magnitudes, and the hypotenuse is v. OK, so we rearrange and solve for vx. Vx, the magnitude of it is just v cosine theta, but the full vector is v cosine theta in the positive x direction, so we add plus x hat to that. Similar thing for the y. Sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. We'll do magnitudes, vy over v, all magnitudes. Solve for vy. Vy has a magnitude of v sine theta, and it's in the negative y hat direction, negative y direction, so we'll add minus v sine theta y hat. We'll write that out as vy. 
And of course, vx plus vy added as vectors gets you v. And there it is. OK. Here's another way we can add vectors using components. Let's say we want to add b and c to find the resultant of those. So we'll do x component of b, 3 units left, minus 3 meters. Note that the squares here are 1 meter by 1 meter. Y component, 2 units up, plus 2 meters. Let's do the similar thing for C. 1 unit to the right in the Y direction, sorry, the X direction, and 4 units up, that's the Y direction. Great, so those are the components of B and C. Then we know if we add the two vectors together, the total X component of the resultant is simply the X components added together of our original vectors, B and C. Similar thing in the, the Y direction, RY is BY and CY. Okay, so we put everything together. Minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2 meters. You can see on the diagram here, the x component of r is 2 units to the left, and ry is 6 units up. That comes from plus 2 plus 4 being plus 6. Okay, so let's state the resultant vector r. It's really easy to state it in unit vector notation, right? We just write those things down. The whole vector r is minus 2 meters x hat plus 6 meters y hat. Another way to state it is in magnitude direction format. So the magnitude we can find from the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we know we have a right angle triangle there. R is rx squared, r is the square root of rx squared plus ry squared. That's the root of 4 plus 36, the root of 40 meters. What direction is it? Well, now we can use tangent. Tan theta is magnitude of ry over magnitude of rx. In that case, it's 6 over 2. You get a 71.6 degree angle and we can state the full magnitude direction format of the vector as the following. R has a magnitude of 6.3 meters, 6.3 is the square root of 40, at an angle of 71.6 degrees above the negative x direction. So that's how you would state that vector. Okay, so that is our introduction to vectors and how to add them.